Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here. This is an exciting video for me, uh, as it's the very first video on Power Apps uh, for Enterprise DNA. Now, historically, Enterprise DNA has been all about Power BI, and um, Power BI to us is still the most important tool in the Microsoft suite. But absolutely, we feel that Power, the other areas of the Power platform, like Power Apps and Power Automate, have matured to a, a place where they can make as big a difference, or you know, they can make a big difference in combination with with Power BI. And so, we are getting much bigger into Power Apps, Power Automate, and the entire Power platform. And in this particular video, I literally would just want to show you how easy it is to get started with this revolutionary tool. I mean, it is going to you know, when you when you work in combination with um, all of these tools in the in Microsoft Power Platform, um, the fact that you can capture data so quickly now out of Power Apps and and in a compelling way, uh, and then you know create some insights out of it with Power BI, but then some automation off the back of it as well, if you really want, is to me game changing, like as game changing as I thought when Power BI first entered the scene, and so. And what Microsoft have also done is made it so easy to get started here. And I literally just want to show you how how you can do that as well. Um, you know, I think I think there's probably still some sort of hesitation around Power Apps because it feels so unfamiliar. But it is it is not hard to get started. There's there's obviously a few aspects and and you know a reasonable amount of learning to actually um, you know get things customized and and maybe to a point where they're production ready in your own environment. But just to get your hands dirty and get familiar with the platform is super easy okay so here are all the apps i mean the value that you can generate from these apps is just absolutely crazy um when you think of everything that's included in in, in here but um you know i've clicked on power apps and what i want to dive into is these canvas apps that are already these templates that you can utilize right so what microsoft are also doing just to try and speed things up so you don't have to build things from scratch is the ability to leverage off templates which are already created and there's a lot of scenarios captured here that you could start off with and then rework like things like help desk is a big one budget tracking site inspection i mean that's a really um cr like a, a great use case for a whole variety of custom environments that you might be working in um but uh you know there's also service desk leave requests fund rate i mean it just goes on and on and on and all of these to me are just amazing ways to capture data like that is what power apps is all about and then you can create a range of different um uh, analysis off the back of that okay and so okay so here's here's one here an interview tool okay so i'm going to click on click in here and i'm going to go create and basically it's going to open up the power apps environment the power apps is all is is all online now uh, and it is it is just crazy what you can do within within a web environment um, with, with with Power Apps, and so I'm going to go into this particular app, and I'm I'm already able to click around, and that's what's cool is that you can already see some comprehensive templates here, so you can see how very neat and um, nuanced things are done, like very niche things are done within apps that are already pre-built, how how navigation experiences are created, um, so on and so forth. Okay, um, let's go. Okay, so. And, and and that's what I'd recommend. I'd recommend diving into these first. That's what we. That's what I, that I myself have done in the past, just to get more familiar with how things work. And what are the? So you see down on the left hand side, this is your tree view. This is where you can um, understand all of the different elements, all the different um, parts of the app. And so you can quickly cl click through here to sort of see how how they're all sort of situated within the application and how they're built. When you go down here, you see all the different elements, etc. Um, but what what I all what I personally do, and I recommend doing as well, is I like to go to this play button like pretty early on, so I can sort of get a feel for how the app actually works. Okay, and so what I can do is I can you know click on okay, so let's let's go to design here, and you'll see here you know this is like an internal tool that can be totally customized to however you like, right? And I can come down here and have a look at all the um, individuals in this particular. Um, thing right so you know just just the way that you can customize it is what i like right obviously in power bi you can customize a lot too but a lot of this data is is, is sort of um can, you know this is you can capture data capture information in power apps and that's what i want you to think about when you're using power apps is 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 just that way it's just this new way to capture data that probably doesn't even that maybe doesn't even exist and then think about that you're, you're capturing information that's just sort of sitting out there in people's minds or 
or just an inefficient processes, you can capture it in a custom app and then send it up to um, send it up to Power BI for some analysis. And the fact, and this is what I want to also highlight as well, and this is relatively new, is that this can all be done in Microsoft Teams. Like in Microsoft Teams now, and the, I, we use this extensively ourselves, and I'm sure a lot of you do if you're a Microsoft shop, is you've obviously got Power Up BI, but you can have all of your Power Apps once you set them all up inside of your Power Apps area um, of Microsoft Teams. So people, so you, you know, however you set things up, I mean, it's just just immersion, or it's just like process automation is possible um, across across so like so many different areas, um, but also just insights just a data immersion insights immersion is is, is just going to go through the roof if you utilize these well now if i um click through here you know this is how you can also get started really quickly too is that you know you can you know basically you can use this tool uh use what's already created come in here and just literally change up all of the um different elements um for your own um you know for yourself um right and you can literally utilize and just come in here and change different elements to whatever um, is suitable for your um, organization right and um, you you know you can just make little changes you don't need to do anything too fa too fancy if this already solves one of your scenarios and that's what I really like about what they've done here right like look at how many different uh, templates now exist this didn't used to be the case this used to be um, pretty sparse and you didn't have all of these um, opportunities to leverage off like comprehensively built um, templates already and these are all free as well totally free you know and you think about like this is power apps is a no code tool microsoft are not selling it as a no code tool but but you know no code is becoming this very trendy term but this is in my view like literally the best no code tool out there because it's integrated into everything we're already doing you don't need to go off and use some other tool it's it's in the microsoft suite it's usually part of your subscription you've already got with power bi and the power platform and so you know you, this is a, a, another interesting one like newsfeed you know, again, this can, all of these things can so seamlessly integrate into what you're doing on a daily basis. Like to me, Power, um, uh, Microsoft Teams is just becoming this, this, this central hub basically for everything that you're doing in your organization. And all you've got to do is then just embed different apps into your hub based on your day-to-day -day job, right? It could be an, an analysis part of your job, like decision-making. It could be just process automation, um, just general processes that you're involved in on a day-to-day -day basis i mean it's it's practically endless what um what what can be done with these these sort of no no code or low code tools in in power apps itself like there is some there is a little bit of coding um so you know there, there is a learning there is a learning curve here but you know the point of this video is how to get started with well, just like it's the simplest app right maybe you need to showcase um what is possible with power apps internally uh, and you know literally just use these templates to get started don't don't try and do anything too fancy too complicated leverage off one of these templates and literally just change the names change change the change the information that goes into it i mean it's just there's there's so many like this meeting capture is an amazing app that you can utilize um you know there's a there's a training app uh service desk app asset checkout etc you know amazing ama amazing ability to, to to leverage off these which is great now um, one of the things I, well, I was going to mention something else. Um, yeah, I, I guess the other thing that just to, just to highlight before I round off this video is, you know, you can um, through Enterprise DNA learn not only about Power BI but you know, also Power Apps and Power Automate. We, we're going to get huge. We're going to get big into enterprise applications, and so we already have an unmatched uh, offering of all of. Um, everything to do with Power BI, anything you can ever think of around Power BI, but we're extending it. We're getting much more broader and we're gonna do it fast. Um, I think that the difference that you can make across all of the Power Platform now, uh, across all of the different apps is pretty incredible, honestly. It is incredible what can be achieved and we're going to make it happen we want to make it happen faster within your organizations or, or or just for you individually so that you can you know learn how to use these tools leverage off all of our showcases our resources to become you know, easily one of the most valuable people within your organizations 
Okay, so hopefully hopefully that was a, just a good starting point. Pretty easy stuff, right? There's nothing nothing too difficult here. I just want to let you know how you can get started quickly. Just just get your hands dirty, get dive into it. That's exactly how I've I've kick start, kick started, um, how I kick started my own learning. And you know, very quickly I was able to just dive into all these things and, and and within half an hour to an hour I was really able to get my head around how this actually works. And I have no doubt that you can too. Okay, take care, all the best. Look forward to um, you know, bringing to you many more videos on, on Power Apps and the Power Platform in the near future. Take care. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.